I want to talk to you guys about my first year of OT school. So first year of OT school, of course, was very stressful. I moved from, I'm from Jersey, and I moved from Jersey to Buffalo, and I've never been to Buffalo. Um, I mean, I've heard of Buffalo, and I was there for a whole week before I started school, but I didn't really know Buffalo like that. Like, I had never been there prior to that. And I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, that's snow in Buffalo. It's ridiculous. Like, why would you want to go to Buffalo? Like, why are you so crazy? And I was like, because I need an education. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so that was just choice that I had to make. And before I moved to Buffalo, I had a really good job. Like, I was getting really good pay. And I had to leave that job and start grad school with no absolutely well I had money at that time but as time went on I couldn't work and go to school so I became broke so brokenness and grad school are related they're relatable especially when you can't work or you can't work that much I'm gonna tell you like what classes I took just so you have an idea of what classes that you're gonna be taking but like I said every school might be different so I can only speak from my experiences and um, yeah, how it went for me for my first semester and all my first year. So for my, so I started OT school fall of 2014. So when I started for my, for the fall, I had to take the following classes. I had to take application therapy process. Um, and foundations I had to take occupational development one I had to take medical and social conditions one I had to take interpersonal skills um, functional anatomy and field work seminar and then for the spring semester I had to take med and social conditions two occupational therapy two auto delivery system group process and neuro so that's how many credits is that? That's, that's like 30 credits in one year. So it was very intense, especially if you're not used to like studying every day and you know just being serious, managing your time and all that stuff. The first year of grad school, I did not work at all. I basically lived on loans and lived on um, the amount of money that I saved from before I started grad school because I did take a year off between undergrad and starting grad school. I took a whole year off, so I did work and I did save a lot of money that sustained me with rent, buying books and all that. I would say that the most difficult part of my first year of, of grad school was definitely getting used to the amount of studying I had to do and getting used to me not having a job because I've been working since I was 15. So it was just very hard for me to not have a job and not have money coming in all the time and that was something that I had to get used to. I think the hardest class, so going back to the classes that I took, I think the hardest class that I took was probably, I want to say functional anatomy only because it was just different from, I'm not coming from, I'm not coming from a science background but I don't really want to say it was difficult because I did take functional anatomy undergrad so I kind of had prior experience to what to expect and like the amount of studying that I had to do so it wasn't that bad and I did really well my first year of grad school so I would say that all in all that it wasn't that bad however you just have to go in with a mindset that you have to you are expected to study all the time and um yeah so for and I think the second I don't I don't like I don't like to use the word hard for some reason like I rather use challenging like every time someone asks me how was this class I always say it wasn't hard it was just challenging because I think being challenged is not a bad thing personally I think that it's a good thing to be challenged and whenever I feel like whenever you're being challenged that's when you grow and that's when you become a better you almost like I don't like to be comfortable in things because that means that I'm not growing which is not good like I feel like change is good and going is good so um and the other class that it was hard for a lot of other people were neuro now neuro for me was not hard 
it was challenging but I did really well and I still do tutor for Nero and I just and I think it all goes back to what you're really interested in so if you're someone that you're really interested in like the human brain neuro will be really easy for you for anatomy a lot of people didn't do that well in anatomy because it takes a lot of time like I said you have labs so apart from taking these classes that I just mentioned you also have the labs that comes with these classes so for functional anatomy I had a lab for neuro I had a lab for group process I had a lab for what else did I have a lab for? Interpersonal skills, I had a lab. Um, did I have a lab for OT process? I don't think so. I don't think I had a lab for that. But yeah, just just keep that in mind that you are going to have the classes and then you have extra labs that are attached to it. And make sure that you take advantage of going to lab. And I think I learned the most from going to labs. And I learned the most from going to open labs. So you have your classes, you have labs, and then you have open lab, which is basically like... So open labs are not mandatory. Yeah, that's what it is. So with open labs, you don't have to go. But most of the time, like, we had open labs, like, during the weekends. Who wants to spend your time with dead bodies over the weekend? A lot of people don't. I did it because... I wanted to do well like I wanted to do really well in my classes so I sacrificed the time that I had to like I, I did what I had to do to get through the classes if I had to stay over the week like Saturdays and Sundays in the lab to go over spinal nerves and go over the bones and all that that's what I if that's what I had to do that's what I did like you just have to have the motivation for it and the passion for it and I think once you have those two things it would be really easy for you to go through the program because you would just like get it you know like you would just get with the program real fast now I also got a lot of questions from people asking me how hard it is which I just explained how hard the program is and I think I had one question from someone asking about I think they're saying something about they're not really good at taking tests and so do I think that they will <clears throat> do well in OT school well you know one thing that I will say about that is yes you do have to take a test you have to take a lot of tests actually but I don't like to be negative and I don't like when people put themselves down I do believe that you can do whatever that you want to do as long as you put your mind to whatever it is if you can overcome that fear, if you can overcome that hurdle, you can do whatever it is that you want to do. Just, if you feel like you're not really that great in taking tests, then you can communicate that with your professor. And I don't know what exactly they can do to help that, but it will be a good thing for them to know. So for me, I would say if you're not that great at taking tests, then do, do really, make sure that you do really well in all your assignments. So you are going to have other assignments that you have to do. You have to do projects and stuff like that. You have to pass lab. So make sure that you put a lot more effort into those things. So at least if you do really great in your lab, in your projects, and other assignments, and you don't do that great in your test, it can kind of make up for that. But if you're not doing well in your projects or assignments, and you're also not doing well in your test, then you can see where that can be a problem. So just keep that in mind as you're going through school that you just have to do well like don't wait to the last minute to seek help we have tutors available we have your professors take advantage of it you know take advantage of watching videos like this as well too um and like i said i still tutor neuro so if you have any kind of questions like if you are taking your class and you absolutely don't understand what's going on and you need some studying tips just contact me personally and i can show you some of the things that i did um so yeah i can definitely say the first year of grad school is just an eye opener but it's all on the individual if you start ot school with the mindset of i'm not here to play no games like i'm here to get my education i'm here to get through this and graduate and you know go on with my life here but if you have a mindset of, oh, I'm just going to go to see what happens, I might not do that well, you've already started on a bad note. You have to go in with a very positive mind and then just take that positivity along the way and never lose that vim. I don't know. Yeah, just don't lose that passion or don't ever lose 
don't ever forget why you started it in the first place and don't ever forget why you're doing it like I always like every time I get very tired or every time I get very like stressed out I always remember why I wanted to do this in the first place why did I want to do it I didn't that could there was a lot of careers that I could have done but I did it because I have a real passion for it it's something that I absolutely wanted really bad and so for me it was just like do or die yes it's going to be tough but nothing in life comes easy nothing good in life comes easy there are some things that come easy that are not good for you but everything that is good for you and everything that will help you grow and help you mature and help you become a better person takes a lot of effort and takes a lot of hard work determination motivation so, so get ready for your first year of OT school and yeah just do the best that you can and if you have any questions please 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 contact me i love when i get questions from people it makes my day like it makes me happy to help and it makes my day a lot more brighter if i can help other people so don't ever think that you are disturbing me or you're being annoying or anything like that you're really not like i really do appreciate all the questions and um yeah I hope that I did cover everything that I had to say about my first year of grad school or OT school. If I missed something, I can leave it below. And I'm going to try my hardest to make at least one video a week. I really am. And make sure that you leave me suggestions below of what you want to hear from me. Because there's so many things that I can talk about. And sometimes I'm like, what should I, what do people want to know? What should I talk about? And so you can let me know what you think that um, you need to know or people want to know. Um, but yeah, I'll make another video talking about my second year of grad school. And then I'll make another video talking about my third year of grad school. And then I'll make another video talking about my field work. So I want to go back to just a journey of how it was and how it's been. Um, what else did I forget to tell you guys about my first year? Oh, and I think I did get another question about taking courses online so far I've only taken one class online and this was even during my field work so no no like you you if you want to go to a T school you cannot do it online now that I know of at least from what I know from my knowledge you have labs to go to so I don't know how you're going to have a lab online and I think being in a classroom you can get the most out of your money and out of your time you can have you have your classmates there you have your professors there and I think it's just better for you to just do it in class even if you have the option to do it online personally I don't know like I don't know what else I think you guys should know I think I pretty much covered everything that I had to cover if I did forget something forgive me it has been but almost three years now since my first year oh my god it's been a while wow yeah so yeah I will leave my um, info below I will leave my information below if you guys want to contact me yeah I will leave my info below if you guys want to contact me about anything if you have any questions let me know I'm always open to answer your questions anytime anywhere any place but thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you next time bye